Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Scrivo Phil in the Verde Prato. We have a classic pens LB5 in the Cal Secchi. We have a classic pens LB5 in the KN. We have a Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize in the Jade. We have a Parker Duo Fold, and this is the Craft of Travelling 130th Anniversary Edition Duo Fold. We have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames. We have a Visconti Daedalus. We have a Banu Euphoria in Vodka on the Rocks, a Banu Euphoria in Bourbon, and we have an Anoto Longitude. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is uh, a really uh, lovely Scribo feel in the Verde Prato. And uh, this is a faceted pen, a uh, bit of an hourglass, uh, sort of an hourglass shape, I should say. Uh, I'm trying to mince my words there a little bit. Um, uh, it's a really nice pen. It's a piston filling pen. Uh, I do like the color a lot. Uh, I know a lot of people do complain about the step down on the section here. I don't particularly find it uh, uncomfortable because I hold it a little bit lower on the section. Uh, it's a nice length of pen. Uh, you can't really, well, you could post the cap, but it's not designed to do so. Uh, so I wouldn't want to post that cap. It's got a 14 karat gold extra flex nib on here. Very, very uh, nice writing nib. I do like it a lot. It's a piston filling pen. Holds around about 1.2 or 1.0 to 1.2 milliliters of ink. Uh, I do find it's a really, really nice pen to write with. I do like the 14 cat gold flex nibs from Scribo. They are the same nibs as the Omas Extra Flitter Bile nibs. They're made by Bok. Uh, I do like them a lot. Um, the 18 cat gold nibs are a little bit, that they're considered soft, but they're not as soft as the 14 cat gold nibs. So, I have that one inked up uh, this week. I have uh, a classic pens LB5 in the Kawasaki inked up. And uh, this is a, a really um, lovely pen. Uh, diffusion bonded acrylic. And you can see uh, the beauty in that acrylic there. Uh, this is a really nice pen. Uh, so glad I was able to add this to my collection when I did. Uh, I did buy this from Sarge, uh, one of the London pen shows before. Uh, along with an LM1 as well in the red, uh, although this one here is a LB5. Uh, still have the LM1. Uh, I do like this material. I, the brown really did speak to me. I'm not normally into brown pens, but this this brown and the chatoyance it has there really did speak to me. Um, it is made by Sailor for, L, for classic pens. It is uh, an LB5 that you can see there, Kawasaki. And it is 47 of 50. Only 50 made in each of these colours. Uh, it is made by Sailor for classic pens. Uh, although I do believe Paul Rossi made the trims and the cap bands. Uh, the, uh, you have a, a, a 21 karat gold nib there. Um, uh, and it's a king of pen nib. It's a cartridge converter pen. Uh, you can post the cap as well. It posts deeply and securely. And... I have to say, I really uh, do like uh, using and writing that pen. Uh, great pen, uh, and so glad I was able to add that one to my collection. The next pen inked up this week is, again, another classic pen, LB5. It is a KN, so again, uh, made by Sailor, LB5, and it's KN, and it's 38 of 50. Um, this was made by Sailor for for Andy Lambrew classic pens uh, this is in terms of length is about half a centimeter longer than a regular king of pen I do like the king of pens though uh, and I have a quite a few king of pens now and uh, I do like them uh, interesting fact if you were to pick one of these up and you didn't like the nib that you had or it comes with a broken nib uh, which I doubt it would but if it did or you dropped it you could always swap this over with a regular king of pen resin section 
uh, with nib uh, and, and it would fit perfectly fine. Uh, it is a Sailor King a pen nib, so it's a 21 karat gold medium nib, cartridge converter. Uh, I can post the cap and it posts deeply and securely there. Uh, it, it, it's a really nice pen. So I, again, I, I do like these, uh, not only Sailor King of pens, but also uh, the classic pens LB5s as well. The next pen uh, inked up is a Wild Ever Sharp. This is a Decavand Oversize in the Jade. I really do like this material. It's got a lot of chatoyance to it. It's a resin material, but it just speaks to me. Um, it is a old Chilton style pneumatic uh, filling system there. Um, it is a very large girthy pen with a number eight size Wild Ever Sharp nib, but I do like it. It's only comes in one nib width designation, a medium, and it works more of a medium to a broad. Um, it does have a, an ink sack inside, a latex sack, and that's typically what holds the ink. That's the filling mechanism. Um, if I want to post the cap, just to show you, you can post it. Uh, it will post. Uh, it will post securely, just not that deeply. But it becomes a massive one. Look, just look at the size of that in my hand. So I, I don't post these caps. Uh, they are very wet writers. I do like it a lot. Uh, so uh, that one I have uh, inked up uh, this week as well. Another one, uh, and I think this is the first time I've actually inked it up, is the Parker Duo Fold. And it's the Craft of Travelling 130th Anniversary. Beautiful pen. I picked this up at auction at the end of last year. And really, really do like this. It has a lapis lazuli stone there. Uh, lovely, intricate cap there, uh, engraving. Uh, it's a gold-plated cap, not solid gold. But you can see there it says Parker, uh, France. And then all of these uh, inscriptions here are effectively, I think, more of uh, the globe or the earth. And then you have the world map there as well on that lovely magnetic blue. And then... Uh, George Parker's uh, signature there. Um, very, very nice uh, pen. And I'll try and focus on that there. You'll see that. Um, it's a nice pen. It's it's like most Parker Durofold Prestige uh, chevrons. Uh, about the same length and weight. And you've got a, a special Crafter Travelling nib there as well. Uh, it is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, you could post the cap. It's not going to post deeply. It does post securely, but it's it's. I, I do worry to to scratch the uh, gold there. Um, so I would rather not not post that normally. Uh, it's actually quite a shorter pen to, compared to what I'm used to as well. The next pen I have inked up is uh, a Visconti Opera Master River Thames. I really do like this pen a lot. Uh, it was a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive, uh, made of the same material that the uh, London Fog, the Homo Sapiens, uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog cap was made of. Uh, lovely blues, greys, whites there. Uh, really beautiful pen, uh, but this is in the Opera Master. It's not a demonstrator like the London Fog. Um, it is a uh, Paravac filler. It's a double reservoir. You've got an ink window. You've got the old style threads here. Uh, and you have a number six size Visconti, 23 cap palladium. This is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib there. So uh, quite a, a wide nib. Um, you can post the cap if you want to. It will post deeply and securely, but it's also a wand of a pen if you want to do so. So uh, typically I do not, and I will uh, not post that cap. But then again, I'm not normally a, a cap poster. The next pen here uh, inked up is a Visconti Daedalus and uh, a beautiful pen. Glad that I picked this up just at, at the heart of the pandemic. Um, this is, uh, you'll see here, it does say uh, Daedalus there on the cap band. Uh, you'll also see a Minotaur's head and all of these silver plaques are essentially the uh, Minotaur's maze. Uh, beautiful pen made by Visconti. Uh, a lovely blue uh, resin, uh, semi-translucent with sort of silver dust in there. 
uh, and a silver overlay. Uh, very nice pen. I like it a lot. Uh, it is a Paravac double reservoir. Um, and you have screw threads, not a hook safe lock. And you've got a 23 cap palladium medium nib. Although I do find this one a little bit on the stiff side. Uh, you can post the cap as well, but it's it doesn't post deeply, and it's very back weighted due to the weight of this cap. So uh, you definitely wouldn't want to post that cap because uh, you're going to struggle writing with that, unfortunately. The next pen inked up is a Banu Euphoria, and uh, I do like this one a lot. It's the Vodka on the Rocks. Uh, beautiful pen. I, I love this uh, glittery, this silvery glittery, uh, whitish sort of pen. Uh, reminds me certainly of, of snow and also vodka as well. Uh, I think this is a, a really nice named pen for this. I think Banu really... Uh, did a good job on on this pen um now if i unscrew the cap you will see that there is a schmidt nib there number six size still nib uh, and it's a fine uh, nib uh, it is a cartridge converter you can post the cap as well but again a lot of these pens if you're going to post the cap it's going to be pretty long so again although this is a little back weighted it's not massively back weighted i still wouldn't really be posting that cap i just think it's just too much so uh, i have uh, that one inked up this week as well but you can just see that material really is quite sparkly there absolutely uh captivating so uh i have that one inked up this week another one uh is the banu euphoria and this is in the bourbon or as i like to call it the whiskey uh, I, I really wish that, that Banu had come out with whiskey instead of bourbon, but uh, I, I do. I have drunk bourbon, bourbon before. Uh, I'm more of a whiskey drinker. If I were to pick the two or get offered a drink, I would go for the whiskey. Uh, but this is, uh, again, a beautiful pen. I think uh, Banu really did uh, this make this pen very well. So um, if I unscrew the cap, You'll notice again, it's a number six size Schmidt nib, uh, Banu U Schmidt, uh, and it's a cartridge converter pen. I can post the cap. It posts deeply and securely. And yes, um, it it doesn't feel that back weighted. It does feel a little bit, but not massively. Uh, but you could post that cap if you want to. Uh, so I have uh, that one inked up with me this week as well. And then the last pen I have inked up this week is this one, and it is an Anoto Longitude. And I was able to pick this pen up uh, towards the end of last year from Anoto Direct. Uh, I really like the theme on this pen. It's all of a, a boat or ship theme, uh, and it's uh, also called the Longitude as well. Uh, a lot of this metal is actually reclaimed from the shipwreck, and uh, this it has actually been made into the pen so there's a lot of detail here in terms of the rope there uh, you've also got what i would say is ocean waves engraved onto the cap and then also the cap band you've got also ocean waves there and then longitude and of course you've got that honker of a clip there which is a, a is an anchor um, it really is a, a nice nice pen the cap is quite weighty. The body, not so weighty. Um, it comes with a, a number uh, six size, uh, 18 karat gold, a noto nib. I got this in a medium nib. I wanted a medium nib. Um, it is a cartridge converter pen. You do also have uh, the the actual latitude and longitude here of uh, the shipwreck. If I just cover the rest of the pens there, you'll see it. Um, and it's 22 of 300. Uh, I can post the cap if I want to. And it will post deeply and securely. But this cap is very weighty. So it does pull the pen back quite a bit. So again, this wouldn't be a pen that I would naturally post. Uh, but if you want to post a cap, then you can do so with this pen. So that's my 10 pens currently inked for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample.
So the first pen inked up this week is the Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. We'll do an ink swatch. And I do like how this nib writes. It writes very, very nicely. So this is the Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato. And it's a medium and it's a 14 cap gold flex nib. And the ink in here is Ackermann Dutch Masters. And it's at Van Hoyersum's Sap Grown or Sap Green. But that is uh, quite a nice writing nib. The next pen inked up is a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I really do like how these uh, Sailor King of Pen nibs write. Um, it is an Asian medium nib, but it writes a little bit more like a, a Western fine to medium. Um, this is the Classic Pens LB5 in the uh, Kawasaki and it's a medium Asian nib and it's a 21 count gold nib because the nib is made by Sailor and it's a king of pen nib and uh, the ink in here is a uh, diamine ochre which I am fast loving uh, this ink in this pen diamine ochre is actually my go-to brown ink nowadays the next pen inked up is a Classic Pens LB5 in the KN. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, I do like how this nib writes. Again, another uh, Sailor King of Pen nib. But it's just write very well. So this is a Classic Pens LB5 in the KN. And it's a medium 21 cap gold nib. And the ink in here is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Which is one of two inks I've put in this pen. And I typically keep that one inked up now. The next pen is... A Wild Eversharp Deco Band Oversize in the Jade. We'll do another ink swatch here. And this actually writes quite wet. Uh, one of the things I do like about the ASC and the Wild Eversharp number 8 size nibs. So this is a Wild Eversharp Deco Band oversize in the jade and it's a medium nib but it writes a little bit more broadish uh, and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is a diamine aqua lagoon but that is a, a very uh, nice uh, writing uh, nib the next pen here is the Parker Duofold Craft of Travelling 130th Anniversary Pen. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And uh, this is a fine nib. Uh, I think I would have preferred getting this probably in a medium, but I didn't have the option because I won it at an auction. Um, so this is the uh, Parker and it is the uh, duo fold craft of traveling and it's the 130th anniversary uh, and it's a fine and it's an 18 cat gold nib from parker and then the ink in here is uh, lamy turquoise which is uh, a lovely um colored ink 
The next pen inked up is the Visconti Opera Master River Thames. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a honker of a width of a nib. Uh, it's a 1.3 millimeter uh, sort of a stub nib. It's the Visconti Opera Master River Thames. And it is a 1.3 millimeter. It's a 23 cat palladium nib. And uh, the ink in here is Diamine Earl Grey. But I really do like this pen. Uh, and I do like the stub nib on it. I just struggle to be able to write uh, in a... Th these are 5 millimeter grid rulings. Uh, I can just about write in uppercase or caps with that. But if I were to do... Um, cursive writing in lower and uppercase i really need around 12 millimeters to be able to do that the next pen inked up is the visconti daedalus so we'll do a, an ink swatch here now this is a 23 cap palladium nib uh, but i do find it's one of my stiffer uh, palladium nibs it's not as bouncy as a lot of them are. So this is the Visconti Daedalus. And it's a medium. And as I said, it's a 23 cap palladium nib. And then the ink in here is uh, Visconti Blue. The next pen inked up here is the Benu Euphoria in Vodka on the Rocks. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is a fine nib uh, and I've got a shimmer ink in here um, today and it's one that I have been putting in here for quite a while. I might change it though. So this is the uh, Banu Euphoria Vodka on the Rocks and uh, it's a fine and it's a Steel Schmidt nib. And then the ink in here is a Diamine Shimmertastic. And it is, um, I need to actually take a look at this. It's uh, Cobalt Jazz. But that is a, a very nice ink, a very dark blue with a gold uh, shimmer to it. The next pen inked up is a Banu Euphoria Bourbon. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I like this pen a lot in terms of how it writes. This is the Banu Euphoria uh, Bourbon, or whiskey as I like to call it. Uh, it's got a fine and it's got a still Schmidt nib. And the ink in here is a uh, Diamine Ochre. And maybe I'll look at putting a, a brown shimmer ink in there. Uh, I think I've got a uh, Cocoa Shimmer from Diamine. So I might put that in there at some point. And then the last pen inked up is the Anoto Longitude. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I was torn on whether or not to put a dark blue in here or a uh, lighter blue. And I went with a little bit of a sort of a, a lighter-ish blue. So uh, this is the Anoto and uh, it is the Longitude. And uh, it has got a medium, and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here is a Pelican Edelstein Topaz, which uh, is a uh, very nice uh, sort of bordering on turquoisey colored ink. 
So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. We have a Scrivo Feel in the Verde Prato in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Ackermann Dutch Masters Van Hoysum Sap Grown. We have a Classic Pens LB5 Kalsecki in a medium 21 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Ochre. We have a Classic Pens LB5 KN in a medium 21 karat gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Wild Eversharp Decaband Oversize in a Jade in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Aqua Lagoon. We have a Parker Duofold Craft of Travelling 130th Anniversary Edition with a fine 18 karat gold nib inked up with Lamy Turquoise. We have a Visconti Opera Master River Thames in a 1.3mm 23 karat Palladium Stub Nib inked up with Diamine Old Grey. We have a Visconti Daedalus in a medium 23 karat Palladium Nib inked up with Visconti Blue. We have a Banu Euphoria Vodka on the Rocks in a fine steel nib inked up with Diamine Shimmertastic Cobalt Jazz. We have a Banu Euphoria Bourbon in a fine steel nib inked up with Diamine Ochre. And then we have an Anoto Longitude in a medium 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelsign Topaz. So there you have it. That's my current ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.